Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I have come up with a new requirement. So as you can see on my screen, I have a column chart showing sales by month, where in the x-axis we have month names and y-axis we have sales. So in the x-axis, the month name is starting from January and ending at December. But we have got a requirement where we have to show this as a financial year that will start from April and end in March. So in this video, I am going to show you how to achieve this. So let's start the video. So if I go to the data view, so here we have our date table having date, year, quarter, month and month number. So this month is sorted by month number. And this month number is the general month number that is January is having the month number 1 and December is having the month number 12. So to achieve this requirement, we'll have to create a new month number so that we can sort our month name column with the new month number column and solve the issue. So let's create the new column. Here we can go to the new column and I will name this as new month number and I will use switch case say month from the date table. If the month is April, assign it as 1. If it is may it will be two if it is june it will be three so i have written this and i will close the bracket so here we have assigned april as one and march as 12 and uh, if i click on enter a new month number will be created so now if we try to sort this month name column with a new month number we will get an error so the error is a circular dependency was detected between new month number and the month column so we got a circular dependency error because we are calculating this new month number with the help of month column and again, we are trying to sort this month with the help of new month number. It's creating an interdependency or circular dependency. So that's why we got an error. So how we can solve this error? So if you are creating this in a date table, you must be having a date column. Even if you are creating this in the fact table, there also will be having a date column. So here, this month, we are directly going to calculate with the help of date column. So I will say format date MMM. So this format function will give us the month number with the three characters. So if I click on enter now, and try to sort this month name with the new month number now we will not get error so now we are not getting the error and this month name column is sorted with the new month number so if i go to the chart view you can see the month is starting from april and ending in march there is another way to achieve this if i create a new column uh, for the new month number and uh, here so in this method we are going to add and subtract a number from the month number to achieve this so we can say if month number is greater than three in that case, what we can do is we can say month number minus three. So you must be thinking why this is greater than three and why this is minus three. So uh, suppose I want a month to start from April. That is the month number for April should be one. So generally it's four. If I do four minus three, this will give us one. So from here we got this number three. So this three will not be applicable for the previous month. That is Jan, Feb and March. Because if I try to subtract three from Jan, it will give us minus two. So for January, uh, Feb and March, what we can do is we can add nine. That is, so from 12, we will subtract 3. So it will give us 9. So we can add 9 for Jan, Feb and March. And this will give a month number similar to the month number that we got here. And now if we try to sort this month column with the help of month num new month number. So it will work. So that was it for this video. I hope you like this video and have learned something new from this video. If you like my videos, do not forget to subscribe my channel. Till then, goodbye and thanks for watching.